What's up guys? So today it's gonna be a different type of video not necessarily like a vlog style of the whole day But it's just gonna be a specific um, Like topic based video on the truck today. So I'm starting it off I'm at Lowe's to pick up some stuff for the bike along with uh, some things for the trucks You already know got to start off the day with some fresh Tim Hortons Actually changed it up got a coffee today because I needed some energy it's like 10 a.m. Getting a head start I want to get this thing done on the truck today because it's gonna take a good while and I want it to be able to dry if that gives it a hint. Or you probably already saw in the title and thumbnail what I'm doing today. But regardless, I'm at Lowe's. Going to go in there, get some supplies, come back out here, head home, and try to get started on this thing. Maybe I can do these every once in a while on the truck or some little project I'm doing. Maybe I'm building something. I'll try like one extra video a week, a little filler bonus video. Something not entirely dirt bike oriented. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Or some different projects or ideas I can do other than dirt bikes. Let me know down below in the comments. And I'll try to do that. All right, let's go. Before I waste any more time today. Oh, almost forgot my phone. And shot the lights off. All right, this is what I'm looking for, just something bigger for my gas can. Too big. No. Finally got everything. It took forever to figure out everything that I wanted. It's like 12:15 right now. It took me forever to uh, figure out the fittings for that gas can. I'm not really sure if it's even gonna work enough to bring it home. See what I wanted. And a bunch of extra tubing so somebody else can use it or do the same valve system. I'm gonna do. I figured it'd be a little bit easier than taking that screw cap off every time. I bought another screw cap just in case. I bought a couple different fittings to try a couple different options. But uh, yeah, I'll go back home and I'll figure this thing out. Next stop, Walmart, pick up some envelopes to uh, ship out your sticker orders. Just got back home, I'm gonna show you guys the gas can situation. So here's my uh, current gas can. Little nubby hose, it's kinda hard to bend to actually put it into the bike. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm probably gonna cut it down because I have like five feet of this. But um, I'm gonna take this off, put this somewhat maybe in the middle there so I can, it's just a straight valve, just open close. So I don't have to have the cap on there. So I'm gonna rig this together. Go uh, step by step. Clap this thing together somewhat fast so I can get to the truck project. And I'll start on that because that's going to take me a little bit longer than this for sure. So I took this uh, stock one off. I'm thinking uh, this might be a little bit too long. <laughs> Definitely going to have to cut it, but I thought I'd show you guys before I cut it. It's kind of funny. Right there, open close, and then just continue another like two or three feet after the after the valve system thing. I'm going to see a few comments that you can buy the system, but I got all this stuff I think for like four dollars so i think the whole kit is like 15 bucks but whatever kind of like build the stuff and that way i can show you guys kind of step by step makes it a little bit more interesting than me just buying a whole tube system and throwing it on there everyone in line it's 20 dollars for the that little valve system and the tube and cap and everything already good to go so whatever saved a bit of money well, essentially this thing only costed them like three or four dollars and they're selling it for almost 20 dollars so that's a pretty big profit for something like that This is all I have to cut the tubing, so hopefully it cuts it. I'm not really sure my other option here. But um, yeah, give it a go. contraption I got figured out right now. I think it's too long. I have to cut more on the bottom here and then I can still leave this top piece but it's just I don't need it to really be that long and it's just too much unnecessary tubing. So I'm going to take this back off, cut it probably in half down because it's actually a little bit chilly today and uh, I don't know. I'm a little girl so it's easy to get that off. Definitely 
goes up straight now. I probably should have done this tube a little bit longer, but it'll work. You have this extra tube, but I don't care to redo it. It's fine. If you guys want to do this at home, I'll leave all the specific links to uh, like the tubing, the single valve system or whatever, and then the two little connector things where you can just place them all in your cart and then it's just easier that way for you so you don't have to go to the store. So it'll just be right on Amazon. This is the original one. I just bought a new cap or whatever that fell in my tank at Palmyra. I finally took it out. It changed into a little bit of a brown color from being in the tank for so long, but I might put it on the end there and put the cap so no moisture can get in here. I don't know, why not? I already have it. That's the idea with this right now. I don't have another clamp, so I'm gonna have to run back to Lowe's. Probably not going today because it's not really, doesn't really matter. So onto the truck with the plastic dip and stuff like that. Actually, I have to clean it before I do that. So I'm just gonna rinse the front of the grill off so it doesn't have any bugs and all that crap on it so I can uh, spray the plastic dip on there, not have it be all dirty. So I'm gonna clean that really fast. May as well clean the whole truck while I'm at it too. All right, so I got the truck all cleaned up, got to go, I'm gonna pop the hood, figure out if I wanna take the grill off or just leave it on and plasti dip it, but I'm only gonna do this part white, this part white, and this part white, and leave the insides black. So I'm gonna figure out uh, what I wanna do here. It depends on how much work it is to take that thing off. There's definitely a lot of plastic in the way. I'm gonna look it up on YouTube, how to take it off the easiest way, and then I'll go from there. See, I explained yet yeah, what I wanna do. So all I'm doing is I'm plastic dipping this front grill white, possibly this part right here and that. I'm just to see how I like it white. If I do end up liking it white, I'm gonna take it off and then vinyl wrap it white. I don't wanna waste my time trying to vinyl wrap that because it's gonna be a lot of work. And um, just with the white plastic dip, I'll get a rough idea if I like it or not. So I'm gonna follow through with this. It's gonna come out a lot better if I end up taking the whole grill off. So I'm gonna pop all these little um, clips off and then remove the grill. It's gonna be a longer process than what I say it is. It's probably gonna take me a good hour or so, but I'm gonna crack at it and I'll start removing these top pieces. It'll be a lot harder than I thought. These things are a pain to take off. All right, so I think I have all the clips out. I got this side one out, and I got all the uh, the screws on the top out. I think I just gotta pop this out of place, I'm pretty sure, without breaking it, and uh, get another bolt out down in there. One right down there. So that one on this side, and then the other one on that side, and the grill should just pop right out now. So it wasn't that hard, it's just a few little clips, pops this out a little bit of pressure. Pull right out, I'm sure I probably missed a bolt or two, so I'm gonna have to go back and um, loosen that up, but from my understanding, I think I got everything removed. Or no, there's these little rubber pieces too. This shielding stuff, all this like rubber stuff right here, it's all like clipped in so nothing gets in. That's the only thing that's holding me back right now, but I finally figured out, got the clips off. It should be able to come out now with ease, unless there's still more clips attaching to this thing, which I'm sure there is. Yep, there's one on the bottom. Like that, finally got this thing out. You can see what I was getting caught on this little, uh, this like rubber stuff, or I don't really know what it's for, heat, or to keep stuff out. But um, yeah, these three little clips were uh, holding me back to get that out, but it's out now. Go over here, check it out. All right, so now we got the grill here. I think I gotta take all of this plastic crap off. All this plastic stuff now in order to remove those, so then all I have to do is just spray the main part and not have to worry about taping all that up and peeling it. But to make this process a little bit faster using the drill, not to put them back in, but to take them out, it should be fine. That way I don't have to uh, mess around. Break, watching some uh, Street Speed 717, and uh, yeah, get back to this after like five, 10 minutes, because it's getting kind of cold, and uh, it's gonna get darker in the next like two or three hours, and gotta wait for that plastic dip and dry and stuff. And I wanna have it back on before it gets dark, so I'm gonna try to get this done relatively fast. I'm not gonna plastic dip the front little parts yet. Let me pause this video. Parts yet, I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow and just mix the clips and uh, have it in the same video. Um, to fit in here, I didn't have a long enough extension, so doing it. Whoa! Not taking any of that, this back stuff off right here. I'm just gonna leave it on. Then I'm gonna get the front, I'm just gonna tape it all off and then spray it that way because plastic it up, it'll peel off somewhat and I'm just gonna waste time taking all that, those back pieces off.
So the first bottom part's done here. There's a little bit of an edge, so I should be able to peel it off the rest. And I just want to be able to spray it all in one shot, so I'm trying to make this as easy as possible. All right, so I've got some of everything all taped off, kind of roughly, and I'm gonna do the first coat. I'm gonna spray right over the Ford emblem. I think I'm gonna change the blue and have it be white, but um, we'll see how it looks when I, when I take it off. Like that. All right, so I'll let that first coat dry for about five, 10 minutes, and then we'll put the second coat on. All right, so I got a second coat done. It's a little bit thicker. Probably gonna do like seven, eight coats, like I was saying before. But um, second coat actually came out pretty decent. All right, here's the third coat update. A little bit thicker. Pretty much got the final coats on. I'm doing the um, clear gloss on there now. Shine it up a little bit. But um, yeah, after that, peel off the tape, should be good to go. We got the pit bike out, Phil here, Justin's here, Ryan's over there on the pit bike. But uh, yeah, it's getting dark, I might not be able to get this put in tonight. All right, Phil's gonna bunny hop over the little pitter here. You got like two feet over, dude. Have Woo! Little note bonk action. 180 over it. 180 over the whole thing. You got it. You might have to reserve the 180 for another day. <laughs> all right. Just bar spin it. All right, so I think it came out pretty good. I took all the plastic dip off or all the stuff in the middle, took all the tape off, and I came out really clean for plastic dip, to be honest. A few little mess ups, sort of peeling up right there, and it peeled up there, but other than that, it came out pretty good. Right, so I got the grill taken out. Anthony's here helping out. Uh, I'm gonna set it back in, just see how it looks. I think I'm gonna take it off, back off in vinyl wrap because it came out kind of crappy. But um, regardless, we'll see how it looks. Here's the first look. This thing looks so sick. I think way better than the black. I'm for sure gonna wrap it now. Uh, post your comments down below what you think. If you like that black or you like the new white. It doesn't totally match the white, the factory white, but regardless, it's pretty close. As long as it doesn't have a Chevy badge. So everything's all solid, clipped in, good to go. Um, it actually it came out really, really good. I'm super happy with it. Um, let me shut the top here so you can get kind of a better view. All right, well, it's the next thing. I'm back at Lowe's. I had to pick up some more clamps for uh, that gas can because it was just bothering me. I wanted to finish it, so I came back get some clamps. I'll show you guys the truck in a little bit once I get home. All right, so here's the uh, final product here. It doesn't look perfect. It is a different shade of white, but um, overall, I mean, a few little, it's not perfect. It came up a little bit right there. It came up a little bit right there, and it started to peel off the little Ford underneath the Ford emblem, so I'm probably gonna rip it off and commit to vinyl wrapping it because I like the way it looks and uh, I just don't really like the way the plastic dip looks. So if it had like a, a color matched white to it, it'd look perfect. I'm not really sure if I should do these down here. Also comment down below if I should do that, if that would like bring it all together. But um, yeah, overall I think it looks sweet.